Okay then, today I'm going to be teaching you how to put add-ons in your Gary's Mod server and I will be using collections so this means that as soon as someone joins your server who's not subscribed to the things you've got in it it will automatically download it for them so it, they can use it in the game. This can be used for add-ons, weapon, uh, add-ons like weapons, uh, cars and everything like that. It can even be used for maps and player models. So I'll show you another day how to do it for maps and player models. But for now, we'll just use add-ons like the weapons pack. So I've gone ahead and found M9K small arms pack. And all you want to do first of all is subscribe to it. So once subscribed to anything you want to put into the collection, just go ahead into this next link. Or go and find it in the workshop and then collections tab. Go ahead and create a new collection. So I'm going to call this YouTube server for now. And I'm going to just go ahead and choose a file as the like icon for it. So I'll just use that. You can then go ahead and describe the collection. I'm not going to do that. Keep it ticked on the top one. And then here you can just select whatever you think is going to be in it. So mine's just going to be add-ons for the purpose of the video. Save and continue. And you should then be taken to this next page. So... From here you want to go on to subscribed items and as you can see I've already got like a little collection here that's my personal one so we'll go on to subscribed items and you'll see everything that you've subscribed to so for the video I subscribe to the M9K small arms pack you want to go ahead and hit the little plus icon and that'll add it to this new collection that you've just made and you'll see it down below it's just added it so save and continue that uh, go ahead and publish unless you want to put a background image then go ahead and find one But just for time I'll publish that So the next one is you'll be taken to your actual collection itself You'll see whatever you've subscribed to and put into the collection and you can edit the collection and delete anything from there So once you've got this you want to go ahead to the URL at the top and either copy and paste this into a notepad Which I'm going to do or just keep this file open, this uh, tab open just to keep this number. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and into this notepad. So you'll notice that there's a little um, sort of weird text right here. I'll explain what this does later. But for now, all I'm going to do is change this capital letters and make sure there's a space into that number that I've just used. Go ahead and minimize that again. The next thing you want to do is go ahead into this next link in the description. It will take you to a little page like this. This is just an image I'm using at the moment because I've already done this part. What you want to do is go ahead and click uh, agree to the term and conditions. And then in this little domain name, what you want to type is... Um, this will be found in the link in the description as well. Uh, this will be found in the description as well. It will say steamidfinder.com. Once you've typed that in or just pasted that in, you want to go ahead and register and it will take you to a page looking something like this and we're back into me recording again and it will look something like this. So you'll see that you have a key and this is the thing that's important now. Mine's going to have a little block box over the last few letters and numbers because you don't want to tell anyone, you don't want anyone else using this key. So just go ahead and copy the whole of that key. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste it into this notepad again. So after the slash auth key, I'm just going to paste that into there. And you'll understand what this is for in just two seconds once I've opened it up. So what you want to go ahead and do is go into your server, the start.bat file. So what you want to do now is on line 8, you just want to go and either type this in. So paste... Uh, plus host underscore workshop underscore collection, the, the first number that we found from the URL, then space again, minus auth key, space, and then that that second long number with the, the letters in as well. Just copy and paste that one into there. So as I've already got it here, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it in. So you copy and paste it into the end of uh, line 8. So it should look a little bit like this. So mine has game mode murder and then you got the space and then the plus 
host underscore workshop underscore collection, the number, then a space again, minus auth key space, and then the big long uh, API key. So what this is basically doing is as soon as people join your server, they'll automatically download uh, everything that was in your collection and everything that is add-ons, maps, player models, everything will be downloaded. So you can go ahead and save that now. The next thing you want to do, I'll just close that down, not leave it open and minimize that. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead into Gary's mod and then add-ons. Yours might look a little bit similar to mine if you've watched my previous videos, but if not, it doesn't matter. Don't concentrate on these. So the next thing you want to do is open GMAD Extractor. So you might recognize this from the other videos. If not, what you want to do is go ahead into open and wait for that to open up. As always, a link will be in the description on where to download that from. So this is the archive. What we want to do is go and find those subscribed items, the ones which are in the collections. So mine was the M9K um, small arms. So there it is. What you want to do is select it so it's highlighted and then select at the bottom. Give it a few seconds just to get everything and extract it all. Next, what you want to do is go up to extract all and just extract it to somewhere where you'll know where it is. So for the purpose of the video, I actually made a M9K small arms pack. So just select that file and go ahead and select. So once it's done that, what you want to go ahead and do is open up the GMAD file that you, or wherever you've extracted the M9K small arms pack and go ahead and open your add-ons. All you want to do is go ahead and drag that M9K small arms pack into your add-ons and it's done. Just wait for that to go ahead and do the uh, extract it all over so once that's done that basically you put it in the add-ons just so it's actually there on the server this has nothing to do with um, people downloading it the collection is the part that downloads it so you could have actually just skipped the whole collection part and just drag this in uh, just extracted it and dragged it in but what this means is everyone else wouldn't have it everyone else everyone else would have it but they wouldn't have the texture packs they wouldn't have the sounds, they wouldn't have the resources, but if you put it in the collection, they'll download and subscribe to it, and then this is just telling the server to have it in the server. Okay then, so what you need to do next is go into your server, go into Gary's mod, uh, go into LUA, and auto run, and then go into server, and in here what you want to do is create a new text document, and call this workshop.lua. Uh, and then go ahead and edit this with Notepad++. So this is basically all the numbers that come after the add-ons is like their sort of code, their URL basically. So what you need to do is this piece of code will be in the description. You want to add resource dot add workshop and then the number of the URL. So I'll show you what I mean by that. If we go into the M9K small arms pack you'll see a number an ID just here so we need to get this number and add it into the notepad so just go ahead and copy and paste that right into there so this is basically telling the server to add from the workshop and it'll search for this number right here so it'll search for the ID of that which is the M9K uh, small arms pack so I usually put um, this at the end as well just to remind myself what it is I'll leave a little space so M9K small arms and then what you want to go ahead and do is file save as and you want to go and find an LUA so where is it hopefully and once you've found it there it is right at the bottom they go to the top is actually at the bottom but once you've found it, just save it as workshop.lua and uh, save it as a Lua file. So go ahead and save that. And this is now done. This will add it from the workshop onto your server and just make sure everyone that joins downloads it. I actually forgot this in the original video, which I did. So if you're watching this now, you need to do this. This is the bit that I forgot to put in the original video. So we'll go on to the next bit in a second. So you can go ahead and start your server up. 
you may notice it's something a little bit different with this as well. So if we just go ahead and watch it, watch it do see what it says here, fetching workshop add-ons, and it's got one add-on in the collection, which was this M9K small arms pack. And it'll just go ahead and download that and make sure it's in the server. So I'll head over to Gmod now and wait till it's working. Okay then, so once that's at 100%, it'll basically just put all the, uh, it'll just check all the add-ons and make sure they're all in the server. So just give that a few more seconds just to load up and we'll go ahead and try it now. Okay then, so whilst it's loading, you might actually see something new at the bottom. It'll say mounting add-ons. This is basically every add-on that you've just put in your add-ons file and that is in the collection is going to get downloaded and just forced on your server so we make sure everyone has it. So we'll open it up. It will be a murder to start off with so I'll just go ahead and change it to sandbox. Okay then, so now that I'm in a sandbox I'll prove that it's working. So go ahead and hit Q, we'll find weapons and as you can see we've got the M9K packs. And they're all working properly, they're all textured and should be fine. We'll even check the submachine guns, yep, they look alright. And we'll use the Tommy gun for the purpose. And as you can see, it's working, and let's see if it sounds properly. Yep, so as you can see, it's all working fine. Everyone who joins will be able to download and subscribe to it, so that means they'll be able to see the textures how they are as well. And there should be no errors when playing with them. So let's get another one out just to make sure it's all working. We'll get the Luga. So you can even name down the sights with most of these weapon packs. So that is pretty good. And then, as you can see, they're all individual guns. So thanks for watching. Write, comment, and subscribe. If you need any more help, there will be more videos to come on. Um, if you've not seen the other videos, why not check them out? And thanks for watching. Write, comment, and subscribe. If I die